The status quo rules. Unless you have a gap, you want to close. The first step to building a great business is to know your gap. Welcome to Fractionals Unplugged, an insider's perspective vodcast and podcast from Maven. We work with fractional executives to recreate their corporate income without the insane hours, building the business they want on their own terms. Jay Kingley, the co-founder and CEO of Maven, shares best practices along with tips and tricks on how you can build a robust pipeline to become fully booked with clients, start getting paid what you're worth, and eliminate your brute force marketing. Enjoy today's episode. I'm Jay Kingley, the co-founder and CEO of Maven. If you don't have a gap between where you are and where you want to be, you can stop listening and move on with your day. If you don't have a gap, then the status quo is working for you. Embrace it and stop chasing the shiny new object. Many fractional executives tell me that their number one issue is their pipeline and their number two issue is how much money they're making now. Sometimes they express it as, I need a quality lead generation system that can feed me clients, which is code for pipeline. And my existing projects have ended or are about to end, so what can I do to pick up some clients now, which is code for they aren't making the money they need or they want to now. You can look at your gap by digging deeper into the issues around your income and your pipeline. If you're like most fractional executives, Your first major milestone is to generate an income that pays your bills and funds your lifestyle, particularly if you're not ready to live off of your savings. But more than that, getting paid fairly and handsomely by your clients validates the path you're on and expresses value for your impact. So money is always going to be important whether you need it to pay your bills or not. The second dimension is the state of your pipeline. Your pipeline represents the future flow of clients so that you will have a thriving business no matter if the economy is booming, skidding sideways, or in decline. If your pipeline is inconsistent, you will feel the stress and anxiety of not knowing where your future income is going to come from. A robust pipeline allows you to focus on serving your clients rather than having to constantly chase prospects. Now imagine a two by two matrix showing that low income and an inconsistent pipeline gets you a rundown house in Struggle City. Good income today, but an inconsistent pipeline will have you staring at the abyss. A robust pipeline that doesn't give you enough income is stable under performance. While the right income and a robust pipeline will have you living in the house of your dreams in Success City. Answer this, where are you today and where do you want to get to? Most fractional executives I talk to are currently living in Struggle City, but haven't figured out how to get to Success City. Money, which you're making today and going to make tomorrow, is often the first pain that you focus on. But when you dig deeper, you'll acknowledge that money is not the only thing that counts. As a fractional executive, you have three areas that collectively determine how successful your business is at any point in time. Number one is money. Number two is time. And three is fun and impact. The money dimension, in turn, has three components. The first is income, with a key milestone being You're making it a minimum, either what you were making the last time you were in corporate or what your market rate is today if you went back into corporate. When you've achieved this milestone, then you will be confident that you are on the right path and you will have no regrets. Based on how you trade off the other dimensions, you can reset your income goal to a greater than corporate level. Number two is pipeline. The biggest cause of professional anxiety for a fractional executive is an inconsistent pipeline. When thinking about your pipeline, take the long view, not the 90-day outlook. A real pipeline is a process based on sound methodologies that is repeatable and efficient, that delivers predictable and consistent results that are robust. 
When you have a pipeline process, you can be confident that you will be fully booked with clients you want to work with doing the work you want to do two to three years from now, even if you have no idea who the specific clients will be. This is the difference between having a process and having some near-term prospects. And third is pricing. Your goal should be to receive fair value for the impact you make for your clients. Your price tells your prospects how much you think you are worth. When you discount your price, you are telling your prospects and clients that you are overvalued. You aren't discounting your price, you are discounting the value that clients can expect from working with you. There are two components to time. The first is your work-life balance. You aren't just starting out, and by this stage of your life, you have a life. Family, friends, hobbies, passions outside of work are what makes your life worthwhile. You have earned the right to a desirable work-life balance. And second, it's the amount of time you spend on business development versus serving clients. Many fractionals struggle to balance the amount of time spent chasing prospects versus the amount of time spent working with clients. I haven't met many fractional executives who enjoy chasing prospects. You desire to spend the majority of your time adding value to your clients and getting paid for it. You need your business development process to be both effective and efficient so you have the right time balance in your business. Finally, there are two dimensions to impact and fun. The first is who you work with. All successful fractionals have a well-defined focus on the types of companies they wanna work with. You figure this out by looking for what types of companies are at the intersection of where you can make the biggest impact, that is what you are great at, and where you have the most passion. As a fractional executive, you are going to be retained by the founder CEO in most cases, although it is sometimes the board or another C-suite executive. Secondly, the work that you do. Once you have secured the right client in your target market, you need to be sure that you are doing the work you want to do. There are two traps that you must avoid. The first is doing something you were good to great at, but don't have the passion or desire to do. And second is doing the broad range of what you could be doing rather than focusing in on what you should be doing. One way you can think about your answers is to consider them qualitatively. Ask yourself if you are where you wanna be, close or have a way to go. You can assign a value to each answer and then weight each item for each category based on its importance to you. You can then create three bar graphs scaled to 100% that show how far along you are today and how far you have yet to go to reach your goal. This turns your intuition into a more considered view of the gap between where you are and where you wanna be. You'll have a sense of how much of your gap is related to money, time, or fun and impact. If your gap is small, then embrace the status quo and keep things as they are. If your gap is large, then you need to decide what you are going to do differently so your results will be better. If your gap is larger than you'd like, let's have a conversation on why you aren't where you wanna be and what you can do to close your gap. As a fractional executive, you work with us to help you recreate your corporate income without working the insane hours. Our fractional flywheel service focuses on how to price, package, and position your years of experience and expertise, create and refine your go-to-market strategy so it's effective and efficient, and then nail your execution. Working with us, you will build a robust pipeline to become fully booked, start getting paid what you're worth, and eliminate your brute force marketing. Maven's unique fractional catalyst service for those serving startups and early stage companies gets you acting like a venture capitalist in managing your business and as an entrepreneur when working with your clients. Achieve financial security and reward with clients who want you to take charge, ask for forgiveness, not permission, in an environment without all the politics and bureaucracy you find in corporate. Email j.kingley at referabilitymaven.com to learn more.